I love my husband, but I'm not attracted to him. There's a difference between attraction and love. Attraction is what you see. Love is how you feel. My name is Okoro Blessing in Kiroka, and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO, your number one relationship therapist in Africa. It shock you. You can actually love people without being attracted to them. And you can actually be attracted to people without even loving them. Yes! I'm going to teach you the difference between attraction and love. A lot of you tend to mistake it. Attraction is what the eye see. Example, what you wear, how you dress, what you look like. Just like when they say, love at first sight. There is nothing like love at first sight. It's attraction or loss at first sight. Because nobody knows you until they get to communicate with you. That is when they get to know who you are. But the moment they see you, like you, and want to talk to you, it's called attraction. Love is more of your personality. Attraction is more of your packaging. Packaging is that thing that people call attraction. Packaging is how you look, how you comport yourself, how you put yourself together, what you wear, how you carry yourself. A lot of people are going to be attracted by that, but they might not love you when they get to know you. And some people might actually love your personality, but you are not attractive. Remember, attraction is how you feed the eyes, what the eyes see. Mm, this is nice. This is beautiful. It's like going into a fast food and a mama puts. Oftentimes, mama put is always sweeter than fast food. But when you get to the fast food, those green brains, green carrots will be attracting your eye. You'll be shouting, give me this one. Give me this one. You can actually put that in your mouth and it's not sweet. Now, they caught your eyes with the attraction with the carrots and the green pim, 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 pim. And the mama put is even sweeter. But that one does not catch your eye. Attraction. And attraction is the major reason why a lot of men can sleep with prostitutes and not want to marry them. Attraction is the reason why a lot of men will sleep with different type of runs girls and still go back home to their wife. They love their wife, but they are attracted to other women. Exactly. Same as the women. A lot of women are actually attracted to their crush. We call them fuck boys. You see yourself being drawn to a particular guy because of his packaging. Because packaging, packaged men and fuck boys are intentional men. They intentionally look a certain way because they understand that they are going to attract a woman's eyes. So oftentimes, what you feel for those people you are attracted for is not love. It's just attraction. That's why you are not compatible. That's why you can't stay with them. That's why it's just sex that is tying you to them. You don't love them. You feel nothing for them. You're just attracted to them. And attraction is just to feed the eyes. Why love is depth inside the heart. Pay attention to the boat of it. Let me give you more insight. Some of you are not in love. You are just attracted to people. That's the reason why when they stop looking a certain way, you are no longer drawn to them. When they stop wearing a certain outfit, you are no longer drawn to them. Now, let me teach you something. And this is where a lot of people have failed in relationship and marriage. You must learn how to feed people's eyes before their heart. Because they see you before they know you. They now judge a book by its cover. So you need to make your cover look very, very attractive attraction is an intentional act it is called packaging attraction is what you wear how you look how you want people to see you so attraction is that intentional effort you put in yourself to look a certain way it's a conscious effort you are the one that know how you want to look so you will make that effort to look that way that is what is called attraction attraction is what brings people to you love is what will keep them with you when you attract people, you bring them for them to get to know you. Sometimes you can be attracted to people and get to know them and you're like, nope, I don't want to have anything to do with this person. Anytime you see this person, you're attracted to. You want to have sex because the person is sexy, the person is hot. But you don't love them. You don't feel anything for them because a lot of times, women always ask, how come he's sleeping with me? How come he's having sex with me? And yet he said he does not want to marry me. He does not want to be in a relationship with me. He's just attracted to you. You are sexy. You are hot. You are feeding his eyes, but you have not been able to feed his heart. When you are attracted to someone, it is just shallow. It is just on the surface. Remember, attraction is intentional. It is what you wear. It is what you package. Now, the real feeling is when you take off all those packaging, all those things you are wearing, do they still love you? That is the true meaning of love. That is why we say love is depth. Love simply means they have to know you beyond your packaging. Your, your person personality is who you are. That is what people fall in love with. Your packaging is how they see you. 
that is what attracts people. That's the reason why sometimes on the social media network, you can have 2 million followers, 100,000 followers, and in real life, you just have five people in your corner. It's because people are attracted to your content. They're attracted to what you post, what you have edited, what they see, but they're not attracted to you as a person. A lot of people can actually love you on the social media. They can like your work, but they cannot like your person. Exactly. So we must understand the difference so that we can be able to know how to apply it. We don't contradict it and confuse ourselves when we're in a relationship or when we're in a marriage. Now, I'm going to teach you how to apply attraction and love because you need the both of them. You must feed people's eyes before you feed their heart. Remember, they see you before they know you. They now judge a book by its cover. Not attractive. Now, let me tell you something. If you're a woman or you're a man, I want you to pay attention to this video. I'm going to start with the women. A lot of you women make a lot of excuses. You forget to package yourself. I hear some women saying, oh, I have a sad boost. I have kids. My tummy is big. I have stretch mark. I'm going to tell you in this video to shut up, my beautiful ladies. I say shut up. Yes, you that beautiful woman saying that nonsense. Shut your mouth up and learn the law of attraction. Which is packaging if you say your boobs are sad buy a good bra if you say you have a big tummy wear a waist trainer if you say you have stretch marks there are lots of clothes you can wear to cover that stretch mark you must learn to package yourself as a woman very very important all of us are hiding something if you say your figure is a setting where you're not comfortable showing a particular part of your body there are beautiful clothes that you can wear that will not even show those imperfections yeah, exactly. a lot of women often forget this part. Once they get a man, once they are in a relationship, they forget the law of attraction. Attraction is creativity, wanting your man to come to you, feeding his eyes. It is very important in a relationship and a marriage. Yes, many people in relationship and marriage have forgotten this part. The moment they just marry, they just leave themselves yakata. Anything that is not packaged is not appealing to the eye. Forget all the men that say, I like my woman natural. Natural is in bed. When you want to sleep, you show your naturality. But by the time you want to step out with your mind, you need to package yourself, fix your lashes, wear your hair, do your makeup, look sexy, look hot. You're looking at me on this video. I look beautiful, right? It's because I'm intentional about it. Before I picked up my phone to make this video, I dressed up. I wore my hair, wore my lashes, did my makeup, and I know I'm looking beautiful. It simply means I'm intentional about it. Very, very intentional about my look. I'm attractive as you're watching me, right? Oh, uh -huh. did you think I wake up like this? I have told a lot of women that the thing you admire or you envy about another woman is what is called effort. Some of you are going to be looking at me on this video and be saying, oh, this girl is fine. You see her hair, you see her lashes, you see her bra. It took me time. It took me almost one hour, 25 minutes to put all these things you're admiring together. It's called effort. It's called packaging. I'm intentional about it. That's why you are attracted to me. That's why you're watching this video and that's why you're looking at me. A lot of you don't know me. You might not even love my personality, but you're attracted to my package. So first of all, I am feeding my eyes with your looks. Before, with my looks, before you now start to pay attention to me. A lot of you actually watch my videos because she's a fine girl. First of all, I'm attracting you with my beauty before you now begin to pay attention to what I have to say. I told you, they now judge a book by its cover. As for the men, the most attractive thing about a man is his word. We call them tokandu, ekoeme, ide play, ide show. A man needs to be attractive with his word. If he says no, it is no, and if he says yes, it is yes. That is the most attractive thing about a, woman, a man, not even his pockets. I hear some motivational speakers say, oh, now money, it has nothing to do with money. A woman wants to be with a man who can stand by his word. It simply means if he says yes, it is yes, and if he says no, it is no. Number two, as for a man, he needs to dress well. Let your woman see you and want to eat you up. That's the reason why a lot of folk boys are winning more than real men because these folk boys know how to package themselves. They know how to comb their beards, rub their bleaching cream, smell nice, fold the hands of their shirts, rub their powder. That's the reason why a lot of beautiful women are falling for folk boys. It's not our fault, it's the law of attraction. So, as a man, you need to dress up, you need to smell nice, you need to look good, so that at least when you offend your woman and you're apologizing to her, the moment you just go close to her, you smell nice, the moment you tell her, baby, I'm sorry. 
<sighs> you know that feeling. Ladies, am I speaking your mind? Exactly. She wants to unravel you. So the law of attraction is very, very powerful. If you're a man and you're watching this video and you're always wearing eyeglass, Oga, please, remove that your eyeglass. Sometimes some of you men are too serious. You are too Jim Jim. You know, calm down a little bit. Sometimes a woman wants to see that vibe, that boy, you know, that spice. Drop your eyeglass, drop your laptop. We know you are a man, but once in a while, want to see that little boy in you. So dress up, look good, drop that your eyeglass. That your eyeglass is so scary. You are too mannish. <laughs> once in a while, just bring all that, you know, spice in you. Look good, smell nice, dress well, look hot. Yes. It is these little, little things we forget to do that kills our relationship and our marriage. A lot of people are going to say, oh, blessing, there's a lot happening in marriage. I don't have time. I don't have these. I don't have that. Now, my point is, all those things that you admire, people put in time in them. You know, sometimes we take our time, we admire a lot of things, we want a lot of things, but we don't want to put in effort to get them. Every beautiful thing you admire today is somebody's effort. So you must put in effort if you want to get something beautiful. Remember I said, attraction is what you see. Love is how you feel. But first of all, they must see you before they know you. Attraction is getting something. Love is finding a way to keep it. First of all, something needs to come to you before you even think of keeping it. That is what is called attraction. A lot of men and a lot of women do not have the law of attraction. And that's why I'm taking my time to teach you on this video. Me, I'm a mother of two boys. My first son is 10, my second son is five. But I can still attract any man. You know why? I'm intentional about it. I know my onion. Exactly. So if you're a woman watching this video, it's time to put an effort in yourself. Don't give me that excuse. I'm a mother. I'm doing school run. I'm a mother too. I have a career too, but I still take time and put in work in myself. So if you're watching this video, be you a man, be you a woman, it's time to get to work. Let us feed their eyes. Yes, those people we love, we need to continue to feed their eyes and be attracted to them. Let me ask you a question. What do you call beauty? Beauty is what attracts. Love is what keeps. So, beauty is the effort you put in yourself. It's not necessarily how you look. Put in that effort in yourself.